Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and beyond. Tomorrow I'm going to do a student loan Q&A with Tumblr to help spread the word. You're laughing because you think, what does he know about Tumblr? It's June 6th to but June you will 12th recall that I have two teenage daughters. I'm hip so to that all these things. Hip to all these things. Our story begins in Normandy, where the president began his West Wing week by commemorating the 70th anniversary of D-Day. And in their memory, those who returned home from war were driven to live their lives the best they could, raising families and helping build the American century. Today, a new generation of troops, the 9-11 generation, carries on that tradition. Some of them have come to Normandy today. And as this time of war comes to an end, and our troops come home, I hope every American will join me in honoring their service, just as we do the generations before. That event was the capstone of the President's week-long visit to Europe. Our Monday began with the President making his way to the Blue Room to meet with students before signing a presidential memorandum to reduce the burden of student loan Yeah, I get a little nervous before these things, but hopefully, hopefully I'll be okay. In the East Room, the President laid out his latest initiative to help young Americans pay off their student loan debt. After signing the memo, the President then took some time in the Blue Room to meet with the University of Connecticut men's and women's basketball teams who'd been invited to the White House to celebrate their national championships. All right, let's go talk to your fans. The last time both the men's and women's basketball program from the same university were invited to the White House was back in 2004. The school? UConn. On Tuesday, the President and Vice President Biden started the day by meeting with members of Congress before signing the Water Resources Reform and Development Act of 2014. WERDA, as the act is referred to, authorizes the construction of 34 Army Corps of Engineers water resources projects including maintaining our waterways and expanding our major ports. Immediately after signing that bill, the President authorized the Congressional Gold Medal to be awarded to Puerto Rico's 65th Infantry Regiment for its pioneering military service, devotion to duty, and many acts of valor. Afterwards, the President sat down with former first daughter Jenna Bush Hager for a Father's Day interview for NBC. The two talked about a wide range of issues dealing with fathers and their role in the American family, the President also took the opportunity to wish that very happy 90th birthday to her grandfather, former President George H.W. Bush. The busy morning prompted the President to head out across the river to grab lunch with Education Secretary Arnie Duncan. Okay, you got cheddar cheese? We do. Yeah, cheddar cheese burger. Good to see you. What happened to you? Hey, how you doing? She's perfect. Good job. You can't beat daughters. The president then headed back to the White House to take part in that Tumblr event he was hip to. He met with Tumblr CEO David Karp before the event for a brief chat. A GIF. I'm all on top of it. With that, the two took to the stage in the state dining room to answer questions submitted through Tumblr. The nearly hour-long discussion focused on education, student loans, and some personal anecdotes from the president. All right, where, where, where do you want me? Right here? Is this my spot? Wednesday was Worcester Tech Day, when the President delivered the commencement address and congratulated the graduates at Worcester Technical High School, which implemented cutting-edge vocational programs in just the last few years to transform itself from one of the lowest-performing schools in the state to a Department of Education Blue Ribbon School. Thursday was Harvest Day, when the First Lady joined local students and school nutrition directors from across the country to make and enjoy salads made from this year's summer crop from the White House Kitchen Garden. Meanwhile, inside the Oval Office, the President was meeting with Prime Minister Tony Abbott of Australia, and then with the WNBA champion Minnesota Lynx to honor the team and their victory in the WNBA Finals. You can find out more information about any of these topics or see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. Thanks, and stay tuned for next week's West Wing Week, when the VP goes to the World Cup. Oh, did you see the GIF? It went up. First of all, there was an executive order. It's a GIF now. So he, he made the decision, uh, just so you know. A GIF. I'm all on top of it. There is. So you've made up your mind it's a GIF? Uh, that, that, that is my official position. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's done. We're going with the, it. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I pondered it a long time. I think that one's going to work. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. All right.